hi everyone welcome back to dentistry and more so today's session we will be seeing about iceberg phenomenon so in the cover pic uh, i have put a picture of a iceberg um, which caused destruction of the unsinkable ship titanic so that's the idea of iceberg so why the um, ship sank because uh, the captain of the ship couldn't see the underwater portion of this iceberg he was just seeing the above water level and he tried to turn the ship but what happened was the lower ducts uh, hit with the underwater portion of iceberg and it sank so that's the idea of iceberg phenomena so let's apply this idea into uh, disease so in today's class i'll be talking about iceberg phenomena in disease so as we know iceberg is a piece of ice that is broken off from snow the main uh, point is just one ninth volume of an iceberg is seen above the water so that means the majority the 90 percentage of the iceberg is below the water so we'll apply the iceberg phenomena into concept of causation so we have a lot of uh, concepts that is epidemiological triad multifactorial natural history of disease web of causation risk factors spectrum of disease so uh, today's session will be covering just iceberg of disease so all these sessions will be covered in future classes so let's see what is iceberg of disease so it is just a metaphor uh, which uh, says that every health problem uh, as a known case and an unknown case so in a, if we take a population if we take a country we are checking any particular disease uh, let's take uh, diabetes or let's say cardiac disease uh, there is a very small portion which is very visible uh, the known cases the people who are diagnosed with the diabetes people who are taking treatment or pe people who are taking insulin or under uh, other medications and there is a lot of majority they are not diagnosed they, they are just there in the uh, society they are around us just being undiagnosed that is the concept of iceberg okay majority of the people are undiagnosed only very few are diagnosed so we'll just uh, go into detail of an iceberg the floating tip of an iceberg represents the clinical cases that is the non case what the physician sees the non cases because they might express some symptoms so they go to the clinician and they diagnosed as diabetes. The submerged portion, that is the vast portion, represents the hidden mass of disease. That is, they are not showing any symptoms, so they are not being diagnosed. They might be diagnosed accidentally when they go for checkup for any other routine blood checkup or any other thing. That time they will come to the tip of iceberg. Otherwise, they will be submerged because they are pre-symptomatic most of the time and their undiagnosed cases or the carriers of community that is submerged portion <coughs> sorry let's take uh, the example of uh, coronavirus uh, more we screen the patients more the cases we get because ma majority are still being undiagnosed or act as a carrier in our society so the more test we do the more cases we get uh, the what we are seeing now is just the tip of an iceberg the majority of the cases are submerged okay so more actively we do screening more cases and the tip of the iceberg will be more more and more visible so the water line represents the demarcation between apparent and unapparent cases that is clinical and undiagnosed cases and patients who are at the tip of iceberg are more likely to have very uh, severe health problems because more and more it goes to the tip the severity and the morbidity are more and more it is going on a higher fashion and as we go down to the uh, iceberg the patient becoming more and more healthy okay but there will be gradient of uh, disease so just see the let's break down this iceberg you can see the tip uh, the disease diagnosed and controlled and this water level diagnosed but it is uncontrolled they know that they have disease but they are not under medication and whatever is below the waterline is undiagnosed or wrongly diagnosed uh, some may have the risk factors some may are exposed to a lot of 
diabetic uh, prone uh, food items and majority uh, that is free of risk factors this part so that's what i was uh, uh, saying as you go to the tip of the iceberg you will have a lot of problems when you go down uh, you are more likely to be healthy okay so the block one and two corresponds to the iceberg these two are the iceberg and this is a submerged portion so underwater is unidentified cases are they are very different from identified cases because their spectrum and natural history is very different and symptoms and uh, progression uh, since it is related the undiagnosed cases are likely to be less severe okay so uh, that's the idea of iceberg it is not very uh, uh, very uh, crucial thing uh, it is uh, identifying uh, the undiagnosed cases from a population that is it basically uh, stress the emphasize the screening part of a disease because it is not very contagious uh, diseases mostly uh, hidden it will be mostly chronic or lifestyle diseases so when we do more uh, screening and we get more diseases we can reduce the morbidity uh, of that particular disease okay so let's uh, see the scenario of caries so we know what is caries so this is a caries iceberg so this tip of this caries these two blocks are the diagnosed caries okay so this is lesions which involved into a pulp and this is uh, the little severe uh, cases and these are caries involved to enamel and this is just uh, beginning lesions and they are subclinical lesions are free of caries so these are we are treating uh, these people because these people are coming to dentist or for a dental treatment these people are uh, having diseases but they are not coming to de uh, dentist or a dent for a dental treatment because of their unawareness or uh, they are not uh, producing any symptoms so this is case of um, dental caries iceberg so our uh, idea is the clinician or a uh, researcher or a uh, health uh, sector people what we need to do is we have to uh, bring more and more cases from the underwater to tip of the iceberg so they can uh, get a treatment so as early we find the disease at the bottom level they will not uh, go to the severe state because anyway when the disease is coming from this to this to this they'll turn up to the clinician or a dentist so our idea is to detect the cases as early as possible so we can uh, give them a better prognosis so this is about the treatment uh, part so early we diagnose the disease that is part of screening the better will be the prognosis so here we can do preventive uh, care but uh, this part of the preventive care is not uh, possible so if we diagnose the patient here by help of screening we can do preventive treatment rather than uh, just like a pit and fissure seal and so fluoride instead of big frustrations and other pulp therapy okay so if we see the periodontitis uh, iceberg so we know that uh, the iceberg what the patients are coming with uh, symptoms just like loosened tooth or the tooth elongation where the bone support is lost so our idea is to um, conduct uh, more and more uh, radiographs and other clinical aids and find out the gingival recession bleeding gums and pocket cases so that uh, they get better prognosis they diagnosed at the very early stages of disease so get a better prognosis so they don't uh, eventually turn up to the tip of the disease we have to pick them up uh, underwater and give the treatment so that they don't turn up here so this is automatically uh, patients with symptoms so we need to find out people without symptoms by active screening and give them better treatment to uh, get a good prognosis so similarly in oral cancer people uh, turn up only with symptoms just like chewing problems uh, difficulty in swallowing or other tongue problems oh, so we need to uh, do aspiration biopsy and other procedures and find out the uh, cancers at early stages okay and uh, active screening will uh, 
find out the underwater uh, diseases i mean the asymptomatic or uh, diseases which is not having uh, very severe severity okay. so that's the idea of iceberg phenomena so iceberg phenomena is all about uh, detecting uh, the underwater diseases or the asymptomatic diseases by active screening so a clinician cannot do active screening it is uh, uh, epidemiologist or uh, other community medicine people or community uh, dentist or community or uh, doctors they can go to the public and do active screening they can do examination on apparent healthy people and find out the disease because uh, not all cases will show symptoms some will not show symptoms and they produce symptoms at very late stage of the disease so we need to do active screening on the apparent healthy people and find out the cases before they actually show symptoms so we can uh, reduce the morbidity of such cases and such patients okay so that's the idea of iceberg phenomena so i'll come up with the other uh, concept of causation in my next classes so thank you